What's going on everyone? I'm SystemJet66. I've only got one image to show you guys, but I thought it was uh, it's pretty interesting to be honest. And it's, um, well, it's a big thing in my opinion anyway. This is the first look at the Stars helicopter. Now, I'm not sure if it's Bravo Teams or Alpha. I'm not sure if Bravo Team are going to play a part in this um, adaptation. Or it's just going to be Alpha or the two combined. I don't know, to save time, you know, etc, etc. But um, I do think this looks good. It does. It's got the camo print. It looks pretty close to what the stars would use and the surrounding area, which is, you know, supposed to be the Arclay Mountains and the Arclay Forest, looks like the Arclay Forest. I'm happy. So, the things that I can add to this video, because it's going to be quite a short one, um, I feel like maybe they're going to have uh, the ending of the first game as the prelude to the film, you know, the intro. They escape the mansion. Uh, we get a look at like Lisa Trevor, a tyrant maybe, you know, Chris and Jill, along with, I don't know, I'm hoping Barry and Rebecca, but they're not going to play a part in this film, I don't think, because it doesn't seem like they've been cast, but hey, they've just cast um, Irons recently, so that just popped out of nowhere, so maybe they will show up, who knows, or maybe they'll just be sort of like, um, I don't know, like no-name actors fitting in for Rebecca and Barry, who knows. But... Um, there's either two ways this can play out. This can play out during flashbacks, so as we're watching the story of Resident Evil 2 unfold in this adaptation, or their version of it, there can be flashbacks uh, back to the, you know, the Art Claim Mountain incident. Uh, or it can start off ending with this and then beginning with the, the story of Resident Evil 2, you know. Um, I think Jill and Chris, being that their actors are quite well known, they're quite high profile actors, I believe they are going to be in this film even when the Raccoon City incident is happening. Uh, it would be a bit strange for them to cut between the Arkley incident and the Raccoon City incident. That would be a bit weird. So I don't think it's going to do that. So there's either two ways it can go. It can have flashbacks to the Arkley uh, incident, or it could start off with the Arkley incident and then go into the, uh, the second game story. However, if... The, the third scenario, the worst possible case scenario, is that they try to cram <laughs> the events of Resident Evil 1 into, like, I don't know, the first 40 minutes of the film, depending on how long this film's going to be, and then go into the Raccoon City incident. That would be a big mistake, and it would be a hard job to, to undertake. It would be. So, um, yeah, I feel like... You know, they're going to do that, and if this film succeeds, because Resident Evil 2, by definition, is a lot more action-packed and a bit more grandiose, so kicking off with that story, even though myself and a lot of fans and friends as well um, don't think they should they should really start with the second game, everybody agrees they should start with the first game's story and the mansion incident, but that's how it's panning out, do you know what I mean, that's how they're doing it, so... You know, they want something to be a bit more bombastic and more zombies on screen at any one time, you know, and things to just feel a bit more tense and claustrophobic. Well, not claustrophobic because that would be the first game, but to feel a bit more tense and, you know, like the characters are out of their depth. Do you know what I mean? Number two is a bit more bombastic, like I said, compared to the first one. The first one's more of a creeper and a slow build. Um, so if this film does do well, I reckon they're going to do a prequel and you're going to find out... Um, one, two, three. They're going to find out what happened during the mansion incident. So, that's cool. And where Lisa Trevor came from, things like that. So, we'll have to see. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, I want to see trailers, more info, more pictures. But I'll keep you guys updated. I'm covering this film up until its release. I will finish off by saying that I am impressed and I have high hopes for this film. Um, you know, I know they're casting some characters very different to their video game counterparts. But you've got to realise that... You know, sometimes it's going to happen. Uh, where do I feel with it? I don't know. I'm a little bit jumbled in terms of my mindset, in terms of things like that. Um, I feel like they can pull it off. I do. And once we get to see these people acting on screen, I think they'll they'll do it. They'll do a good job. At the same time, you know, the other side of me is like, well, I could be burned by it. But if I'm burned by it, I am. The thing people don't realise is, with me, I'm the type of Resident Evil fan that I don't really need the films, the CGI films, the books, any of that other stuff here to enjoy Resident Evil because I've already got some amazing games to go back and play. Do you know what I mean? So if anything else comes out and it's crap, you know, or it doesn't live up to my standards, then or anyone else's standards, then who cares? We've we've always got the classics and the remakes of stuff to go back to. Um, but as it stands, the helicopter looks cool, the Arkley Forest looks looks great, you know, and some of the sets and the costumes and things that I've seen 
yeah, I'm I'm impressed. I'm happy with with how it's turning out at this point in time, at this moment. We don't know everything yet. You know, we need to see more, don't we? At the end of the day, these are just little tidbits and, and snippets, um, and a little look into what's going on on set and stuff. But um, I I want it to be good. I want it to be good. A lot of people seem to think that Leon's costume isn't his costume. It is from the remake. That's the costume he wears from the remake. So it's actually quite spot on. Um, it's not the old school costume. It's the one from from the new game where it looks a bit more realistic. And that's to be as expected. That it's going to be look, looking more realistic. So uh, yeah, I feel like they're going to go for the updated costumes. Claire's going to have her you know, uh, leather jacket, her biker jacket. Um, and the jeans, the skinny jeans. Uh, Chris is obviously going to adopt his stars uniform, I'm hoping. I, I really want that. I really want that to happen, you know, them. Uh, use his style's uniform as well as Jill's uh, uniform. Don't know if Jill will have her costume from Resident Evil 3, maybe from the updated version. I would like to see her with a beret on um, and the pads and stuff, you know, on the shoulders. But um, I think they'll probably just update it to a Resident Evil 3 remake costume, and that's fine. As long as we're getting Jill, who cares? So, yeah, that's about all, all from me. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Keep subscribed to the channel. I'm going to be covering this film, you know, for the months to come. And, um, yeah, hopefully it turns out good. Fingers crossed. Anyway, I've been System Check 66, and I'm signing out.